Uh, his salary is seven hundred eighteen thousand. <sighs> Who's this guy on loan from? Okay, he's at Brentford. Not bad, but. Uh, add to short list, strikers, three months. Josh O'Connor, he's got some good stats too. Hibernian. I don't think we could get him because he's not eligible. Yeah, he's in Scotland. Hundred fifty five K to go after him. Um No, he's on our list. I'll just watch him for another year. This dude has a first touch of sixteen. Termination of seventeen. He's injury prone. He's not versatile. He's very one footed. Jumping reach of sixteen. Six two. James DeBio, what is wrong with you? Who hurt you? Place for the leads under 21. He's better at defending, not as physical. He's got better vision, better technicals. He could be a possible loan. And he wouldn't be bad as a backup. Tayo Eden. Ooh, okay. He's a Blackburn. He is really good. Hmm. See what we've got here. Um, so tackles per ninety, his rating is one seven three. So on the big five leagues, which is above us, that's on the poor scale. On interceptions, he's got four three three, which is elite. Blocks per ninety point eight seven, so he's between average and elite. So that's pretty good. Pressures per ninety fifteen, so that's elite and then his pass completion is 84 percent that's below average See what his agent says. His contract expires soon and contract discussions could be held immediately. We want a salary between 144 and 210. That's not bad. He would want to be the most noteworthy players at the club and play as, so he wants to be a starter. Oh, he wants to play central midfielder and strengthen up the first team. He's the re hmm. 
Okay, he'll come down a little bit. Okay, we'll think about him. So that could be a good price for him. Daniel Chesters. That is loan. Co no, his contract. He's at West Ham right now. I'm really breaking this all down, aren't I? It is, this is what I usually do off camera. And I'll literally just like put screamo music on. And, <laughs> and like just, just go at it. And just, you know, crunch numbers and do everything. Um, doesn't look like he played it all last year. He's more of a midfielder. We need a true right winger. All right, what do we got here? Who are you, Brandon Cooper? 500K if we wanted him. He's injury prone, though. Big matches, consistent. 6-1. Fifteen 15 jumping reach. Heading of 13, that's not bad. He has got... He is definitely injury prone. Got better vision than Ben Goodliff. Ben's faster, more physical. He could defend a little bit better, more technical. He only played five times last year. His average rating wasn't that good. So we can always wait on him. He's no he's not like something major. All right, Connor McCarthy though. Have we looked at him before? Jumping reach of 16. He doesn't like big matches, unfortunately. Eighty five thousand to eight hundred and fifty thousand. So he's on contract for another year from Plymouth. They are staying down though. So probably not gonna get him. Alfie Jones. He's making four hundred and fifty thousand. We can't afford him. Bobby Thomas. Man, some of these people are just I mean, it's I I get it. It's it's salaries. We just can't afford them. What? Did we make it through all of them? Seriously? Oh man, that that terrifies me now. Um <laughs> we went through everything, everybody. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> Oh, man, that was my elbows popping. That's not healthy. <laughs> what have I done to myself? Building this team again. Papa John's trophy holders Drake FC have declared their intention to bring Blackpool striker Miles Laybird back to Jack White Stadium on a loan basis. Uh, according to Sports Bible, Drake's interest in Laybird is mounting after it merged. Uh, unit, yeah, I've actually, that's one of my um, scouting things, contract expiration. We've got a few. There's 12 in progress. they got a few up here, but again, some of them that they've... Uh, suggested are a little expensive unfortunately this guy's a little new
I never thought that I would like okay, this. Big match isn't consistent. I kind of like that. He's fast. He is so much faster than Oko Flex. What foot is he? He's right. Um, I was going to say an inverted winger on that side. Though, wouldn't you push off with your right foot? Wouldn't that make you... I, I, no. I, I'm thinking about it backwards. Uh, he's somebody to think about. Where'd he go? There's a number of wingers. This dude's out of contract. He's the same age as Oko Flex. And he's more physical, better defending, which as a winger doesn't really matter. He can play that middle spot that we might need somebody. Minnows, aerials, technicals, and attacking are the same. His vision's a lot better. He could play that right winger a little bit better. He could play the inverted a little bit better. He has a higher pass completion. Higher shots on target. Let's check out his stats here. Um, let's go winger here. So 2.62. So he's above average on dribbles per 90. 0.31. He's poor on crosses completed. Uh, 10.69. So he's below average on sprints. 0.75. He's poor on open key play passes. 0.36, he's amazing on expected assists per game. I wonder if I could bring him in on a uh, trial. Sam? Was this, I swear we've looked at this dude before. And there was something about him that didn't work. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm getting him confused with somebody else. He's big matches and consistent. 6-2. Jumping reach 14, heading at 14. Let's compare him to big good, Ben Goodliff. Ben's a little bit better. Mentals and defending. This guy can attack. I don't know. Jack Diamond and Beckett Taylor. Can I compare both of you? All right. So Beckett's obviously faster, but Diamond is more physical, can defend, technical attacking. So yeah, just because he's faster and got more aerials, it looks like Jack Diamond is a little bit better than him.
They're both consistent. Uh, Jack Diamond. We'll look at him in just a second. Uh, Sunderland and Spinnymore on loan, Sunderland, Sunderland, and he did Harrogate and then loan in game at Lincoln. Yeah, they showed me this dude. He's making three hundred sixty something thousand. I I just can't afford that. This guy again, almost five hundred. Yeah, it's just my scouts are being dumb for some reason. All right. A uh, total of eight people responded to our advertisement for a performance analyst. Do we still need a performance analyst? Uh, we do. Let's see. Antonio Jones, uh, 12, would be equal to Liam Young's. We view all the applicants together. Oh, we can. Sweet. All right, best analyzing data is Antonio Jones and Ben Britton. What a name. A tactical knowledge, which is kind of important too, goes down here to Aston Artis. What kind of names are these? What is this alliteration? Ben Britton and Aston Artis? You say that five times fast, you're going to be saying something bad. God, he wants a lot of money. And he wants a big pay raise. Dude, you're... Yeah, get out of here. Get out of my office, Aston Artis. It's because of their reputation. Their reputation is so high, they want a ton of money. Oh, yeah, that's... Hmm... I'll just go out and look for one. Ben Warren can want the job all he wants, but uh, he's probably going to want too much money. Yeah. A hey, Amun Skiri got a work permit. I don't remember what I hired him for, but you know. Oh, did we do him for the fitness coach? Y'all remember? Or was he youth development? I think he was youth development. 20 working with youngsters, and he's an upgrade there. So, oh, um, let 
Well, this is messed up because I don't. I know I didn't hire him as the fitness coach. Well, that sucks. Uh, I think it may have. No, you know, the, the big guy was going to be the, the fitness coach. There's probably a coach I needed to let go. And I didn't. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I tried to hire this guy as the head of youth development, and it's it's probably changed at some point, and uh, made him just a coach. So I might have screwed that up. I have been crunching numbers for over four hours, so that is a possibility. Because I try to write people's names by who I did, and there was two. He was supposed to be the youth development, and it didn't happen. All right, new SkyBet championship season draws near. The buildup of excitement and optimism ahead of next season is likely to increase in just seven days' time with the championship matches due to be announced. Newly promoted Fleetwood Town, Oxford United, and Sir Francis Drake FC will already be counting down the days to the new season's kickoff on Saturday, August 10th. Fans of the recently relegated Leeds, Watford, and Blackpool will meanwhile will be readying their maps in preparation for trips to DW Stadium, Asiel, New York Stadium, and Coventry Building. We screwed that one up. Um, youth development. Oh man, this did this just mess up my whole search thing? Well, that that's stupid. I'll never find this again. Preferred job. There we go. Well, since I screwed the pooch on that one, let's see. What do we need for head of youth development? We're, yeah, that was exactly what I wanted that guy for. Oh, man, that, that, that hurts my feelings. This guy could speak English. 
Again, now the problem we'll run into is we gotta have work permits. Poodle, thank you for that. Appreciate it. My current head of youth is, I'll compare with somebody to him here in just a second. Um, let me find somebody that's... This dude is two and a half stars. Gary Morgan, he's fickle too. But I'll compare him to with our current head of youth development. Alan Peck. Alan Peck failed. He's got eight and nine in ability and potential looking. Oh, no, no, no need to apologize. And then 15 with youngsters. So anything above 15 and him being able to look at stat, look at kids and know whether they're good or not would be a bonus. That's why I kind of want to improve it. So maybe we get like one good player coming in. I could sack him now, but I kind of want to bring in somebody uh, not fluid in English, basic at least in English. Okay, this guy, he sucks with working with youth. Of course he does. Tony Ordinas. Good English. Seven is done, so here I am. How was the, uh, I'm sure he did tanks tonight because he's been pushing his rank three. How was that? Nice. Good job, Makatayuki. Steve Beeks, what a name. Now Steve has better working with youngsters. I don't like his fairly ambitious though. Rob Williams. Unambitious. Definitely don't want that guy as the head of my youth. <laughs> Got it. Jeez, AC. Just come out shooting, won't you? <sighs> yeah, that's the that guy would have been really good. Um Steve Miola. There are so many Spanish coaches and stuff here, and it's just like crazy. All right, let's be uh, country list. Um, Nationality. Let's just look at English people here. Um, an ambitious seventeen, twelve, eleven. That's not bad. Ooh, I like this too. Willie Downs. He's 63. 
Oh my god, he's got a picture! Willie, how much do you want to come here? You, Willie, you sack of crap. You are way too expensive. Willie, you got you you gotta you gotta tone it down, my friend. Oh, Willie, why would you do that to me? I thought he was old. I could take advantage of him. Devoted. I've never seen that before. Wow, that dropped down quickly. We're down to 14 working with youngsters. That's actually less than what we have now. So I need like 16 and up. That may work out. That was what I noticed the other night, Makatayuki, is when people were in the air, they, uh, you were just in trouble. Tayo Eden. Yeah, we're waiting to see if his contract runs out and we can get him for uh, a much better deal. Okay, they found me some uh, back of the line people. We got Kofi Bomber here. That's a cool name. He likes big matches and he's consistent. $555,000. and five twenty. Crystal Palace don't consider Balmer to have a long-term future at the club. Yeah, he's he's probably too expensive. This dude's 361, which is more affordable, but still not great. He doesn't like big matches. Sam Barnes. This guy's really cheap. 16 jumping reach, he's 6'3". Let's compare him with Ben Goodliff. He's 23, too. He is injury prone, but he could be a good little backup. Maybe to sign him in like a fringe player. We got Brandon Cooper here. He's, I don't know about these people here. Restart that. That's. All right, Blackpool has come back. They still want us to pay 40%. I mean, 112 is still. That's not, it's not quite half of his contract. 
Yeah, I kind of have to do it, don't I? I think he would be the only way we'll stay up. Oh, man. He's got to accept it, too. Okay, yeah, these, this this guy, for Archie Gray, they want 368. Yeah, y'all can go take a hike. Armstrong Flex at a 6, 8 in 32 minutes. And they want 233,000 for this dude. I need to look at Tottenham again and see if there's anybody there that we try to get. But they didn't have a lot of their players marked for loan. I really hope Robbie D signs with us. All right, what do we got here? This is just uh, right wingers. This can't be right. Where does this guy play? Shel Shelbourne? In the Republic of Ireland. Okay, that's why they have a better balance than we do. Um... Okay, this dude's the same age as Oko Flex. He's better mental, defensive, physically, he got better vision. I think we looked at him before. What's his crossing? Ten. I'm not set on him yet, but he's not bad. Josh Ginley. Uh, okay, this guy is a much better crossing. He's 27. He's very one-footed. That's fine. That's great. We need a right winger. Elite dribbler, below average cross, below average sprints, or poor sprints, below average key passes, and elite assist for him. Westburn, these guys are really old. Restart. I'm not happy with them. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to be running into tomorrow looking at uh, more stuff. <sighs> hey, Quantiniano Francisco Lemos Fiolo has been granted a British work permit. Let's Go. He will be taking over. Uh, as our. Fitness coach. And he is loaded with other stuff. That is probably the best coach hire I've ever made. Fitness of 15 is up. His motivating is 15. That's an up. His discipline is 19, which is a big up. Determination is 13, and that's an up. And then all of his other stuff is just bonus.
Yep. 826 bucks to get rid of Steve Haynes. Boom. And Petri uh, Kasprizak. Kasprak. Kasprax is what I'm going to guess. I'll put it in here. It's got to be better than this. Edit Hey She Am Done. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's, that's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Kaspshak. Kasprak. That's what I said. Kaspshak. Kaspshak. Kasperzak. No, that's what I said. It got a negative one rating. So Kasperzak is wrong. Kasperzak. Kaspshak. But Kasprak is correct. Oh, man. Um... Who are, who was I going to replace? Oh my God! Um, Alan Young was who we were going to get rid of. With Pitor Kasprak. Let's see. His adaptability is higher. His player ability is much higher, and this is higher. So we did uh, increase our ratings of our scouts. So we did some minor changes with the coaching staff and with the scouts. There we go. Quintiliano Francisco Lemos Filo. And we're paying him 21K. Which just blows my mind. And Kasperzak. We got him for pretty cheap, too. Dimitri Mitchell. What did, what did you even do if we don't even... I don't think that's going to happen. Good God! He would want a salary between 6, 6, 8, and 8. Goodbye. <gasps> Robbie Dees has agreed to terms with Stoke. He had no hesitation accepting Stoke's offer over ours. Stoke offered him an impressive salary compared to what he was expecting from them. However, he felt the salary we offered him was disappointing compared to what he was looking from us. He literally had one of the things as asking for lower salary. Well, that hurts us in uh, me putting together that back line. Because looking right now, we did sign Jamie Cumming. He's going to be our goalkeeper. One thing that does help is Miles Laburn is here now. So that does open up. If we have to, putting Liam Cullen over here, who could definitely play inside forward. I would rather not, though, and bring in an actual true winger.
I mean, we're still sitting here in League One, so nothing's clicked over yet. Um, Luis Enrique. Like some of these guys that are loaned out right now. This dude's name is, oh, I thought it was Papa Sar. It's Pape. Oh, we're almost up to the 20th of June. The 29th is when all the loanies go back. Oh, veggie, that's rough. All right, we got a new head of sports science. Like I said, we made some uh, just little changes. And hopefully it helps us. Keep people from getting hurt and things like that. But we can have the best staff in the world if we're not. Uh, Moses McKinday is definitely going to take over for Alan Peck. Though I don't think he'll be long term. Uh, we're going to have him for a while. Especially with this balanced personality. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of that. But it is what it is. He's better working with youngsters. He's much better at finding talent. So And we got him for cheaper, which is a really big deal for me. Who's your youth? Um, oh, who's this guy? Lee Prudho. He plays for Middlesbrough. Sorry, Southampton. You want way too much money for that guy. Oh, we got a recruitment meeting coming up. What do we have on the team that is... We got Cooper Dunn here. Oh, he's awful. 
He is terrible in this bit. This guy looks good. I like him. I'm curious. Good God, what? Too much. That's, I don't understand these salaries on some of these, but it's literally like last year and now the game's ticked over. We're not like this. It is. <laughs> Miles Laburn has agreed to join us on loan. Shall we play the Miles Laburn song? Well, it'll play here in a minute. Whenever it feels like it. All right, Miles Laburn on loan. That is nice, even though we're paying for him. Um, I think it's worth it. Never again. Oh, what did you say? Play it again? Gotcha. <laughs> the finance thing some of the teams at the other end of the championship had that amount of money so yeah we're just not there we do not have that backing to do that the window runs into the season opening and a lot of those players will drop their price demands a great deal when they realize we're not playing so we just got to keep that in on I don't know why they would be upset about that. But defense is our biggest thing right now. Uh, League One clubs, Darby top EFL League One sponsorship standings. League One clubs generate a total of around $34 million from sponsorship this season with Darby sponsors backing them with about 7.25. By contrast, the e the trophy holder, Sir Francis Drake, annual earnings from so sponsorships were around 95000 Where is our sponsorship money? Like, I don't understand that. Drake FC have managed to increase their stature in the last year. Man City have retained their status as arguably the most reputable club in England in a list published today. Southampton are viewed as many as the club has taken the biggest step over the last 12 months and enjoy much greater attention in England as a result. The other end of the scale, many observers believe that lead stature within English soccer has taken a sharp decline. Where are we at now? We're not this low. Oh, here we are. It's not bad. Wow, we're actually up higher than I thought. Jack White Stadium. Do, 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 do. Current squad average age 24 for us. Uh, 
Um, you'll have to wait till this, and I'll show you. It brought it up. I took a link to it. I think it's under, you go to England, and then you go to clubs. Yeah. And then you got to go up here and go to reputation. And you could do that any country. So you go to world. Let's say we want to look at uh, Russian clubs. Boom. Clubs. List. Reputation. There you go. Yeah, Mullen doesn't want to sign with us. I'll try again, but squad player. See, he wants me to promise him like that. Let's do impact sub. Okay, he's, he's dropped his decline stuff. So let's see what we got here. Um, what did he make last year? 28,000. So he's wanting to quadruple his salary. I'm not giving you a salary raise. All right, we've got two people we need to replace. We've got a recruitment analyst and a performance analyst. So let's knock those off, and then that might be what we do tonight. Recruitment analyst. Fifteen ten. So this and judging ability. Fifteen twelve. Fourteen thirteen. We're doing recruitment. Yeah. Um. So Saul is nine nine. So anything above that is better. Anthony Bates, would you like to be a recruitment analyst for my team? I'm not giving you that. Yes, he doesn't. The potential, or oh no, it's just player ability. Uh, oh, okay, so it's this one. Look, I've asked this dude before. Luca Burton Jones. Yeah, they all just want too much money right now.
He's close. Nope. Not close enough. We're going to keep on going down the list here. This dude's a little bit close to what we can negotiate. Yeah, there we go. See if we can get him. And now we need to do a performance analyst. And that is analyzing data and tactical knowledge. I'm sure is going to be super expensive. I don't even remember which one I clicked on. Stop trying to feed your kids. This dude's making 23,000. Surely we could lure him over. Speculation is mounting over the future of Jeremiah Mullen. Uh, who knows what he's going to do. All right, let's do this recruitment meeting and then we'll uh, call it a stream. Oh my God, where did all these come from? Yeah, we'll have to look at that. It was a season to remember for Sir Francis Drake, thanks to the results of the highly impressive 4-0 dismantling. Blah, 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 blah. We went up. Jamal Blackman was the signing of the season. Oko Flex was second. Rule changes for the championship. Players cannot play competitive matches for more than two clubs. Okay, they're just these are just year changes. Has anything really changed? And the answer to that is... It looks like the transfer window for free transfers is wide open. June 9th to September 1st. Yeah, so nothing. Drake FC have been awarded 19000 for the use of domestic under 21. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. I don't know what any of this is. This leaderboard stuff. So, so it's the, are we getting ready to click over now? June 23rd is when it happens. Yep, season expectations. The expectations for the board as the coming season follows. Yep, it says it up here. We're seventh in Skybet Championship. So the 24th of June is when it clicks over. Attempt to avoid relegation is what they want. In the FA Cup, they want us to reach the third round. In the Carabao Cup, they want us to reach the first round minimum and what is this? Oh, we get the pick. Uh, the only difference is, is a hundred thousand dollars. So I'm going to just put first round. Four point seven. So that didn't change. Okay. Squad size, max of 25. And we have to have eight. Miller and Oko Flex are no longer under 21. All right. I've changed my mind. We're going to stop right there.